castrati were singers who were castrated before puberty to develop a unique voice for singing. Italian operas without one would be doomed to fail. The Pope tried to ban them in 1748 but failed as it would drastically reduce church attendance. Charles Dickens was a passenger in a train crash. He tended to the victims, some of whom died while he was with them. The experience affected him greatly. He lost his voice for two weeks and tried avoiding train travel whenever possible. He later died five years to the day after the accident. The first browser war, which took place from 1995 to 2001, ended with the up-and-coming Internet Explorer eliminating Netscape Navigator as a rival. By 2001, Internet Explorer had attained a peak of 96% web browser usage share. Byzantine Emperor Basil II the Bulgar Slayer, after the Battle of Clidion, divided 15,000 war prisoners into groups of 100 men, blinded 99 men in each group, and left one man in each with one eye so that he could lead the others home. From 1976 to 1989, an unknown taping noise was audible worldwide on commercial and civilian communications, such as TV broadcasts, commercial aviation, and SW radio. The source was the Duga radio, the Russian woodpecker, a huge over-the-horizon radar used by the Soviets as a missile detection system. When Captain Francesco Schettino was asked why he abandoned the sinking Costa Concordia cruise in 2012 while the ship's passengers were either dying or trying to escape, his excuse was that he accidentally fell into a lifeboat. He received 16 years in prison for his role in the incident. A pop-up restaurant in Japan hired only elderly people with dementia to reduce the stigma attached to it. The customers still ate the food they were served even if the waiters got it wrong. The difference between a violin and a fiddle isn't the number of snares, shape, size, or anything physical, but rather what is being played on it. Classical, chamber music, and jazz, for instance, are played with a violin. Genres like folk, country, pop, and rock are played with a fiddle. Aloe vera contains a growth hormone, gibberellin, and a polysaccharide, glucomannan, that promotes fibroplast proliferation and collagen synthesis, making skin heal better. Additionally, aloe vera has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Lightning McQueen from Cars isn't named after Steve McQueen, but after the late Pixar animator Glenn McQueen, who died during the film's production. Corn plants release thousands of gallons of water into the air every day as they grow. This can change the humidity of the air and even the weather in the corn belt. Unlike most animals, African wild dogs follow an age-based food sharing system where pups are given immediate access to kills, making older dogs wait before they can eat. Chadwick, the discoverer of the neutron, was a student of Rutherford, the discoverer of the proton, who was a student of Thomson, who was the discoverer of the electron. One shouldn't eat more than five brazil nuts in a day. They contain selenium, which can cause gastrointestinal problems, brittle hair and nails, joint pain and tiredness. In large amounts, it can cause kidney failure, heart failure and heart attacks. Legendary footballer Lionel Messi's first contract was written on a restaurant napkin during a meeting with FC Barcelona executives. That napkin is now held in a safe in the Credit Dondora Bank. Ant corpses release a chemical when they die and other ants will dispose of the corpse. A scientist once recreated this chemical and put it on a live ant. Its ant friends kept bringing it to the graveyard no matter how much it struggled, cleaned itself, or tried to go back to work. 
The Messia Stradivarius violin is the only Stradivarius that is considered to be in like new condition, having been played so infrequently that it is basically nowhere. In 2013, a Florida man, Jeff Bush, was sleeping in his bedroom when a large sinkhole opened up directly underneath his bed, swallowing him and his entire bedroom. His brother heard him scream but was unable to see or reach him in time. Bush's body was never recovered. Vincent van Gogh had a known habit of sucking on his brushes to swap colors. It's widely believed that the lead poisoning led to his severe mental decline, resulting in his famously cutting off his ear, and ultimately shooting himself in the chest. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.